Hey, hey, everybody. It's Eddie from Tokyo. This is your cryptocurrency update from Japan. And we've got an airdrop, a big airdrop. <laughs> this is 1,500,000 VET and 30,000 XRP. So what's an airdrop? Well, it's a distribution of a token or a coin that is free and it goes automatically to a wallet address. You don't have to do anything. It uses a Bluetooth technology and or sometimes in a combination with Wi-Fi. And for this promotion, everybody on BitTrue will get some VET and XRP. And if you hold two of these coins already, if you hold them, you'll receive more in this airdrop. So to follow the news, definitely get on Twitter and use the hashtag BitTrue VET Carnival. And then I'm sure you're going to learn more information like when the screenshot deadline is, et cetera. But the big question I'm sure you have is why VeChain? Well, if you have been following the news, VeChain has been in the headlines big time. They are a public project that is solving real world economic problems, just like XRP. They started in 2015. They operate in seven offices around the world. You can see here Palo Alto, California, Paris, Luxembourg, Singapore, Shanghai, Tokyo, and Hong Kong. They're a team of about 100 people, 50 of which are developers, and they work with the top universities for their R&D, like with Stanford, MIT, Oxford, City University of Hong Kong, Singhu University. Those are just to name a few. And it's a uh, blockchain platform called VeChain Thor, and it's harnessing the power of smart contracts to solve issues in supply chains. So this public platform enables businesses to track their products, and you can track from the point of when it's manufactured to when it is used. And it has lots of benefits. Of course, safety is one, and also it reduces the chances of counterfeiting. It was when we got this announcement back in June that I think the project really started to take off. This is an announcement that Walmart China launched an initiative to use the VeChain blockchain to track more than 100 products across categories. Those categories included meat, rice, mushrooms, cooking oil, and more. The Walmart company expects to track 50% of its meat with this technology, 40% of its vegetables, and 12% of its seafood. So this traceability for Walmart improves safety. And then in August, we heard about the announcement with uh, Penfold Winery. And the reason why this is so constructive is because in China, there's a lot of sales of this wine under a fake label. For ex example, in 2017, a million dollars worth of this Penfold wine was sold in Shanghai and 2.8 million uh, in Zhengzhou, and it really wasn't the real thing. So in this case, Penfold is using a chip. Sometimes the company uses uh, NFC, which is the Near Field Communication or Smart Tag. And it's really, I think, going to be adopted for many situations. So when we have a look at one more piece of news, this is just 14 hours ago. This talks about the surge of 120% in price when the Chinese newspaper mentioned this particular crypto. Let's take a look at the actual price chart. This is VeChain in the last one month, and you can see that's, <laughs> that's a nice rise. Okay, so who is behind this project? Well, one of the co-founders, his name is Sunny Liu, and he is not only a co-founder, but he's also the CEO. And he describes himself as a product manager, uh, also uh, among other things like being technical, conscientious, idealistic, and he sees himself as capable. He loves to run, he plays soccer as a hobby, and he's also a movie movie buff. So when you uh, have a person like this with so much faith in how blockchain is going to change the world, 
you can see that uh, he's going to be one of the uh, movers and shakers in the future of this space. In For the uh, past experience that he had when he worked for Louis Vuitton in China, he no doubt learned the importance and value of proving authenticity and traceability through a supply chain. So I think his previous work experience has really helped him in this endeavor. And then thanks to the visionary thinking of Sunny Liu, along with Curtis Wang, who is the CEO of Bitru, both of them are going to appear on an AMA that I will host on Monday, November 18th, Asian time. So we're gonna do it sometime between four and five Japan time. It'll upload right after it's done. So you can probably find it uh, somewhere around 3 a.m. on the East Coast of the US, around midnight on the West Coast. That'll be about 8 a.m. London time, 4 p.m. Beijing. And if you're in the Netherlands, it will probably be available to view at around 9 a.m. All right, so uh, you're probably saying to yourself, yeah, but I'm not on BitTrue. I, I really don't care. Well, you can still participate in another giveaway. This is the uh, BitTrue Vet Carnival promotion, and they're going to give away. Uh, a, a lot of VET, and you can win up to 8,000. One big winner will get 8,000 VET, five will receive 4,000 VET, and 10 people will receive 2,000 VET. And how do you do that if you are uh, just on the sidelines of BitTrue? Well, follow BitTrue on Twitter, retweet this image uh, along with all of the thread that appears in that chain and tag three of your friends on Twitter in the reply. And the winners are going to be drawn on November 22nd. So it's really, it really is quite a, a big promotion. And I hope you all have a lot of fun with that. I just will remind you that if you're on Twitter, look for my tweet that will allow you to add questions for the AMA. And if you have questions for either Curtis Wang or Sunny Liu or about VeChain, uh, please put it in the comments of this video. Okay, I'm going to move along here. We're going to look at the new coin market cap, which launched a liquidity metrics to combat volume inflation problem. This, I think, this tool, I played with it today for probably an hour uh, because I was trying to search who had the best liquidity for XRP. And it's uh, very interesting. I like it. Um, you know, it's, I'm not saying that coin market cap has the whole car market cap figured out, but I think this new liquidity index here which you can find under exchanges click on that and then you can sort by liquidity and when we do that all of the exchanges come up and uh they're ranked by yeah the ones with the most liquidity but then when you click on the exchange you can actually then see the breakdown and and find out as to what they are most liquid in like for example you have a uh, it's just kind of amazing there's there's one exchange called idex they have 398 coins listed as projects that you can trade with but you know some of those projects don't have any liquidity at all <laughs> as in like not just low sometimes zero so this is a really helpful tool if you are getting into projects to know maybe what exchange you want to be on based on what project you're getting into. Bit4x is another one, 160 coins. But um, yeah, the liquidity on some is just almost zero. And there are a few exchanges here on this list that like, CoinReal and Albank, Gemini, they're not, they're not even dealing with XRP. But for the ones that have XRP, MXC in Singapore, the uh, number third highest liquid project 
is uh, XRP uh, paired with U.S. Tether. And then you have Liquid. Liquid is in Japan and Singapore, Vietnam, and United States. They also have XRP paired to the yen as their third most liquid coin. But the winners were BitBank. They're here in Japan. It is the second most liquid uh, pair, which is XRP with the uh, Japanese yen. And then there's ZB.com. They have quite a bit of liquidity. It's quite deep. They have it paired with BTC. I think if I remember correctly, it was 76 million. So it was uh, quite a bit of, of uh, liquidity for a single exchange. And then there's Upbit. Upbit is from Korea. Upbit is really making some uh, moves in the way of world presence. And the second most liquid coin on their exchange is XRP paired with the Korean won. So it's just yeah, I had a I had a lot of fun looking through this because I saw I saw a lot of coins I just don't recognize. It's amazing how this space has grown and um so yeah, it's just fun. If you if you're into Grin, for example, you want to go on to gate.io. It's the number one liquid coin on there. They also have some uh, coins we just never hear about, like Super Zero and Beam. Well, sometimes I hear about Beam. Anyway, if you are one to just peruse what is happening in the space, I think this is a, a space you can do it. And then sticking with liquidity, I'm going to talk about something that just came out today, and that was Ripple has helped increase XRP liquidity to 200 millions a day, according to Ethan Baird. Ethan, of course, is the senior vice president at Spring, and he had an interview with Abra's CEO. And yeah, it's good because you really understand that Ripple has a top down strategy. And this is working directly with financial institutions and providing the enterprise software. And that software is really customized for their world. And it lets them tap into the power of XRP. So Ripple's business has recently very much changed, according to Ethan, when the XRP liquidity increased. So it has shot up from $100,000 a day to 200 million on any given day. And one of the keys uh, it has been working with market makers to ensure that there is adequate liqui liquidity. And also what is key is not to spike the system when you're moving those prices. So Ethan is modest, but he speculated that the network will grow exponentially. I'm going to put a link to that in the comment section below. You can listen to it for yourself if you have the time and have the uh, desire to, because it's good. It's about 51 minutes long. And then I want to tell you, this is interesting. This happened today as well here in Japan. For 31 years, Japan has held the Dime Trend Awards. And these winners were announced and the Awards are to acknowledge people and products and services that achieve great success and prove to be extremely popular. And they, they get to that popularity within one year. And although I'd like to talk about all of the awards, I really would, I, but I can't because I, I promised everybody I would talk about blood types today and the importance of them, especially when you're dating for the fluff. I'm not really going to talk about it, but there is one winner and there is a winner that you should know about. They won the grand prize and they were the um, the pay pay company that just partnered with SBI that uses the Ripple technology in their payments app, MoneyTap. So let me just show you here. So yeah, the grand prize went to pay pay and they are, you know, integrating into MoneyTap app, uh, utilizing that Ripple infrastructure to transfer money from banks to wallets. And they went from zero to 15 million users in one year. It's 
very, very impressive. Okay, everybody, we are moving to the fluff. Are you ready? God, I got a lot of requests for this one. Uh, oh, here is just uh, the AMB Crypto's um, article on Money Tap and PayPay. Yeah, so basically, it is all about. Um, reducing the burden of connection for those individual financial institutions with pay pay anyway okay it, it's a really it's a it's a big deal i'm telling you it's a really big deal i know for a lot of people you don't have any idea what pay pay is but pay pay is pay pay now is as prevalent as visa in japan so when you come here and you get to any payment counter anywhere, any restaurant, any convenience store. I, I don't care where you are. You're going to see, you're going to see it on the, on the front of, of McDonald's window. You're going to see pay pay. So Mr. Kitao did a really big deal. All right. Let's really get to the fluff finally. All right. I want to talk about the Japanese blood type personality theory. It's really interesting because when they did a survey in Japan, 99% of Japanese people know their blood type. And I think in the West, it might be, I don't know, unless you've had some hospital work done. I just don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Probably less than 10% of people know their blood type in the United States. I don't know about other countries, but 99% of Japanese people know. Why? Well, it's it's considered to be an indicator of a person's personality. So everybody knows what each blood type is, and about 45%, which is really quite high, of Japanese people believe this, especially when it comes to marriage or dating. You have to know each other's blood type. So if you are a blood type A, you're going to be organized. And I'm going to go through just the four major blood types, okay? And I'll just give you the key points. And then in the comment section below, I'm going to add which types go well together and which types don't go well together. But the type A is uh, organized. And as I tell you this, It'd be fun for me to see which type do you think I am. So blood type A is organized, uh, keeps things neat, is a little stubborn, can get stressed out easy. Uh, the word is kichomen, uh, <laughs> is the way we describe this blood type A. They're reliable, they're kind, they're patient, but they are intense. Okay, blood type O. They're optimistic. If you have to think of one big catch-all word, they're optimistic. And they're also leaders, and they see the big picture. They cannot handle sensitive types of personality. So sensitive people just, you know, they don't have the patience for that. They're not really on time. They're social. They're workaholics. They're loyal. They are a bit vain, a bit arrogant and can be a bit jealous. Okay, type B, the catch-all word is they are selfish. They lose interest easily and they are not very forgiving. They do have a wild side. They're cheerful, adventurous, unpredictable, and strong. All right, and the last blood type is AB, which I think is the most common. No, no, AB is the most no o is rare a i think is most common so i'm not sure uh and they're and you they're not taking into account like a positive or a negative it, it's just don't pay attention to the positive or negative because that's not a factor here all right the key word for a b is eccentric they have two types of personalities so they're really they have it's not a two-faced being a negative but they have two sides of their personality. They're calm, but yet complicated. Most of them are, are artistic, spiritual, mysterious, private, and can be aloof. All right, so I will put the good combinations in the 
in the bad combinations in the description below. And if you, just for the fun of it, um, want to tell me what you think I am, that would be be fun for me to read. And just oh, the very best pair and the very worst pair I would share with you. So OB is a really good pair. But a BB can be good, but generally is the worst pairing. Okay, everybody, do take care. Sayonara for now. Bye-bye.